I hope everyone, hope everyone is well and doing good. And I'm back for a second round of Music Magpie, one for sorrow, two for joy, which is a new series I've created where, like the CEX roulettes, where you buy games online and you're basically hoping that they arrive in uh, at least a decent condition. Uh, same thing, same principle. The music magpie, uh, buying games online, as you may have seen on Rob uh, Gernaldino Plays's uh, channel, he's doing he's doing these these kind of videos as well, and um, he's doing them as a video response. But to be honest, Rob, we're both pretty much uh, just coincidence that we both bought from Music Magpie, and we've we've embarked on this little journey of. Uh, of this series, this Music Mad Pie series, where we buy the games online, we get them, we look at them, we, we have a look at the condition, and we rate them either one for sorrow or two for joy, uh, depending on the condition. I suppose we've both got our own uh, ideas of what could be classed as a, a, a sorrow or a joy, but that's fine. And to be honest, if you want to join in, go ahead, by all means, use your own rules and base your ratings on what you believe is, is, is the correct one for one for sorrow, two for joy. Anyway, I've ordered another little package. Uh, I've ordered six games. Uh, there's a couple um, that I bought, in fact they're all part of the um, two for three pound deal which they're doing at the moment and a couple of these games are for my new COD subset and the rest of PS2 games uh, I flip through all the pages of, of all the deals the two for three pound deals and I notice that actually some of these PS2 games I don't have a lot of a lot of this will boil down to the manuals and just like Rob as long as the manual's there, I'm not so much bothered about stickers, game stickers being put on them. They really are to get off actually, and there's not many uh, of those game stickers on manuals that I can actually get off uh, successfully. There's always, uh, they always tend to rip or leave that sticky residue which won't bloody come off, even using my me, uh, me maintenance spray. So, yeah, a lot, the ratings are going to boil down to mainly uh, the manuals being there but anyway uh, I'm, I'm really excited um, Rob's last one he I think he bought 13 games in total like I said I just bought six and my parcel Rob has actually arrived intact um, obviously this wasn't even attempted to be pushed through the letterbox it was left on the doorstep uh, luckily um, you know, it, it, it survived and uh, nobody pinched it. <laughs> I live in a block of flats, so uh, not ideal. I'm leaving it on the doorstep. However, I have I have took receipt of the of the parcel, and like I said, I mean, yeah, a, a, a little rip here and there, but compared to Rob's uh, recent recent parcel, uh, which was which was shocking, really. Anyway. It's unopened this time. I did know exactly what this was coming through. So let's break into it. I've actually forgot what, the, what exactly what I've got, but I know there's um, might be two or three COD games and PS2 games. What what the actual games are, I cannot quite remember. I'll put it to one side. Uh, we'll pick them out blind. So the first one is it's a PS2 game. It's the Scorpion King Rise of the Akkadian. First glimpse is promising. The weight, usually you can tell by the weight of these whether there's a manual inside. And yet it does feel a, a little bit weighty, so so far so good. There's no stickers on the on the cover. The, the case is fine, it's still the click test. Right, so we haven't got to click there, we've got to click at the bottom. Now, very soft click. Um, but that's that's fine and that is even better. 
the inlay and the correct disc. That manual is lovely. It's in lovely condition. It's as flat as a pancake. So we're good with that one. That is definitely, yeah, it does click. But it's very soft. Um, unlike that bottom one. But that's definitely two for joy. So that's the Scorpion King on the PS2. Let's dive in for the next one. And we've got Call of Duty on the Xbox 360. This is Advanced Warfare. Um, the Advanced Warfare series is... I don't like them. I'll be honest. I mentioned it before. It's too futuristic for me. Um, I prefer realism over over fantasy, over futuris, futuristic uh, games. Um, but the box looks good on the externals. Click test. Yeah, similar thing. Soft and nice, good click at the bottom. Uh, what we got inside? Mm. Right. Oh no, no. For a minute there, I thought there were only one disc, and all I could see was the install disc um, at the bottom. And I thought, I know one of the other games I got last time had two, two discs, install discs, and the game is um, all is good. It's got two discs. Um, mint, absolutely mint. Uh, I know Rob says that, that they clean the discs before they send them out and that is that is good. However, no, I know sometimes um, on some of Rob's discs they were, uh, they were a bit uncertain, there was, there was some uncertainty about the, the disc being German or something. Now we do actually have a proper rating there. Is that a Peggy rating? Yeah. And then the USK. So it, to me it looks it looks like an English PAL version, even though it's got that, which I think I believe is probably the German one, but but anyway, it's it is complete with both the discs, they, they are both PAL. We've got a season pass leaflet. So whether this is missing the instruction booklet, I'm not sure. It does have some information on the inside, so maybe that is covered in the, the, the instruction manual and the instructions are on, on the game, I don't know. But it does come with the season pass. Again, let me know in the comments if it is missing the manual. But I, I don't know for sure, so and I am classing this as a joy. This is a joy because it's it's in nice condition. Uh, got a nice click on. Uh, it seems better now actually. That not soft. So uh, yeah, but that's Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare on the Xbox 360. That is a joy. That goes onto the joy pile. Two out of two so far. Obviously the more games you buy, the more chance there is of something not being quite right or the condition of one of them being a little bit off. Um, with six games... <laughs> wow! We've got Street, <laughs> street Dance for the PS2. Um, it's sealed. And... I know Rob had a sealed one, but he did doubt that it was uh, an official seal. This one is, let me see if I can get that to show up. There is an official PlayStation seal there. So this has to be complete, doesn't it? I'm on the fence about sealed games, I must admit. You know, part of me wants to, to open it up and prove that it is. Um, but. I do like skilled games, <laughs> and this isn't a game I'm going to be playing uh, at all, ever. So there's no no reason for me to, to open it up. That looks official to me. That does look official. I'm not sure if sometimes 
the seal feels a bit tighter but this one feels slightly loose um, I don't know I'm, 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 I'm tipping that is officially an official seal so that's got to be a, it's got to be a joy it's brand new it is brand new and it is the English uh, it is the English PAL version so that goes on the joy pile too fantastic <laughs> um, obviously it never even said anything about that on the on the website I don't believe well I certainly didn't expect it um, this is a PS3 game and it says Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and again judging by the case so far I haven't had any stickers neither any uh, other outlet stickers on and the case looks good click test lovely yeah complete uh, beautiful condition beautiful flat no no dog ears or anything on there and the disc is a correct one and yeah Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on the PS3 you may remember in the last video whether I was deciding whether to I mean I already own this for the PS3 or, or deciding whether to collect them all again so I can put them separately uh, away from the collection that's exactly what I'm doing so I'm just buying, uh, buying them all again regardless whether I own them or not these are going in a separate collection uh, the COD collection so that is that's on the PS3 and that's in really good condition um, needless to say it's going on the joy pile two for joy so far we've got four four in uh, four for joy so we've got two two game oh dear oh dear <laughs> they've only sent me five I'll have to check I am pretty sure I'm pretty sure I bought six I've got three lots in the two for three pound deal and I've only received five okay so we've got PS3 Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 uh, again I already own this the box condition externally looks 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 good it's fine oh no no we've got a crack we've got a crack in the case so that's not closing it ain't a problem because I mean I've got shit loads of spares spare cases for the PS3 PS2 all kinds of uh, cases it is complete so this will be just a case swap and um, it's the correct disc the, the, the inlay you know it's never been looked at really it's in it's in brilliant condition um, the case is slightly damaged and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really picky and that is a that is a fail that's a one for sorrow what a shame and it seems that is the whole video a fail a sorrow because I'm, I'm, I'm down a disc nothing left um damn that is a shame in fact I'm, I'm gonna check on my phone right now wait there right yeah as suspected there is a game missing I've looked at my emails and for some reason uh, I ordered Lotus Challenge uh, for the PS2 and for some reason I've got an email saying that that item is on its way um, you know separate it must be separately to the others so whether that game is still to arrive yet though I did receive that parcel a couple of days ago would have thought it would be here by now I do believe I don't know I don't, I don't, I don't believe anything because I don't know what to think um, are they sending this separately or have they just completely missed it out um, obviously I'll let you know in the next one well I'm sure we'll have found out by then so as yet I don't know I don't know for sure but 
let's let's assume that I didn't order that one and I've, all, I've ordered five then we've got four good ones four joys and one sorrow so you know that's that's still a good turnout that's still a, a decent ratio um, you know four to one that's still not bad you know when you're buying blind on online I mean th this I'm sure in fact this sealed one if it is official which I do believe it is look, it looks official to me and like I say I don't know if the, the camera's picking that up it has got what appears to be an official um, band around um, you know surely that makes up for that little damage in the case on that one like I said it's not a big issue like I can case swap but rules are rules and it's not it's not in 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 the good in the condition that I expect it to be going into the joy pile um, so yeah that, that's a, it's a short one um, it's certainly one shorter than <laughs> what we were expecting uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed it um, please go check out Rob's Gernaldinho plays uh, channel out as well he's he's doing these as well and he's he's obviously picked up a lot more games than me um, obviously I want to keep try and keep this as a continuing series um, so obviously I'm just going to buy a few at a time keep it keep it short and sweet if you like but for now that's the that's the second round of uh, music map pie one for solo two for joy so until next time and I'll let you know whether that game turns up or not um, or if I have to contact him and say oi <laughs> send me it out Lotus challenge on the PS2 um, thank you for watching and until next time see you later